Andre Brown's Professional Carpet Care. Today is Thursday, March the 26th, guys. The last few days has been very rainy, guys. I haven't worked in about a week, guys, uh, but I'm back working today. Uh, I'm off to, going to Interlink Supply tomorrow to get some supplies. Then I work Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. Uh, and then get ready for, I got like four or five jobs booked in uh, April already. So, Brownstown, I'm just here on a day. On the job of the day, and guess what? Guess what? Look who else is there, guys. Look at that. Dr. Duck, guys, was actually scheduled this morning for the air ducts, and I came in, and we didn't even... This wasn't a job that we are coming in together. He actually called us separately, guys, and that's my buddy. That's my partner who I, who do, does all of my air ducts as well. So Dr. Duck, and he's in there now doing some air ducts, and I'm going to come in and do the living room, dining room, and the hallway. He got the premium package today. The wife wanted everything clean, especially what's going the coronavirus and things like that, guys, so... Oh, and real quick, uh, actually a YouTube subscriber, guys, uh, actually cleaned carpet herself. She actually did some stairs, guys, and she did an amazing job. So I want you guys to take a look at that. I, I wanted to put it in a video, so I think this is the perfect video to put it in before I get started, guys. So take a look at this. All right, y'all. So I love watching YouTube videos of people cleaning carpets. I don't know why. I have OCD. I love to clean, so I love to watch people clean. But anyway, there's my favorite channel, Brown's Town. I'm Andre Brown from Brown's Carpet Cleaning. He calls himself the king of stairs, right? So I decided to give myself a little project and see what I can do. And uh, looky there. Besides that part I just stepped on. <laughs> But uh, I do believe that I may have earned myself the queen of stairs, you know? I legit am going to tag him. When I post this on Facebook, I'm going to tag this Facebook page. And I want his honest opinion because if you look at his videos, you know, I did a pretty good job. All of that pre-vacuumed, pre-sprayed, agitated it with the daggone brush with my bare hands and steam cleaned it with this lovely thing here. I did that. I'm back about to go in guys so you can see exactly what we have to do today Thursday March the 26th guys I hope you guys and your families are safe and protected through this rough rough time that's going on inside of our country but brown time we're going so you can see exactly what we have to do and then we're going to where's the workhorse already inside but we're going to use the CRB today so hopefully works out well so it's warping time, guys. We're going to go in so you can see the workhorse. And of course, we're starting with an empty warping time. Well, now you guys are about to see exactly what we have to do with these floors. Holy moly. I'm not going to be bashful. I'm going to get some cookies and some ginger ale. Y'all hear that, Brownstown? Offer me sodas and snacks. Oh, yeah. That's the floors, Brownstown, what we have to do today. It was time for a fresh cleaning, especially during the rough times that's going on in our country, as you guys all know. And of course, if you look at it through the camera, it's a little darker than what you actually see on the camera, guys. A little closer. No, you can't. I won't tell the difference. But I'm going to put a picture up so you can see the difference. But you can see that they are soil, guys. But once Brownstown come in, do the correct cleaning. And of course, we're starting with an empty. Say it with me and write it down in the comments. An empty canister. Yes, sir. Empty canister. Let's go. Oh, got to change it from the filter to the floor. <laughs> Work is the truth, man.
I get closer and, and start cleaning to the carpets, I see more different type of things. Like here, you can see some purple colored areas. You see here? Like right there, right there. And that could come from like a spot that was there. That somebody tried to use some kind of over-the-counter cleaner and it may have been a little bleach or something in there and that's what turned it that color. So that's how I, I see stupid things. It's like this right here. That should come up, but not sure what that is too much. Look like food or something. Yeah, something like that. But oh, that should come man. up. But yeah, I always notice things when I get into more into cleaning and yeah, get closer. See. You see what I'm talking about? Yeah. yeah, that's from spots that somebody tried to clean. Like a spot came up. Ch -ch -ch -ch. Let me spray some stuff. Now let's see what came out of the canister, Brownstown. He also does his vacuuming inside of his house, guys. So we were able to still get some out, but not too much, guys. Look at that. Look at that, guys. Holy moly, Brownstown. Look at that. Oh, wow. That's kind of cool. Holy moly. All right, Brownstown. Already,
Guys, I just wanted to go over it a few more times just so I can get a little bit more deeper agitation into the fibers, guys. And you can tell a difference, guys, from how it was before. And you can see why I haven't went that yet. See a difference, guys. Oh, yeah. This is a whole lot lighter than what it was at first, guys. I'm gonna work on this area. So you can see exactly what I mean. You see how dark it is? It was like that right here as well. All right, let's get that and get to the extraction, guys. If you watched the video all the way up until this point so far, guys, just comment the CRB is back. see where I didn't clean that right there and you can see some of the areas there guys the wear and tear some shadows there but how it looked before this is a huge difference and it's a lot cleaner guys holy moly this comes to the end of today's vlog even though the carpets were old you still seen some wear and tear inside of the floors but overall they came out really good especially after the entire process so brownstown with that being said just buckle down hold on to your families love your families close guys protect yourselves guys and just just hold on guys because i just pray and hope and i am saying guys a lot guys so please guys do not do any shot games that you take a shot every time i say guys or holy moly or something like that because you will be totally wasted on a real note brownstown i love you all so much from the bottom of my heart I just pray for your well-being. I pray for your sanity. I just pray that everything is peaceful for you, even though the times are very rough. A lot of people have lost their jobs. A lot of people are laid off. Kids are not in school. It's a lot of stress going on. People have bills that need to be paid, et cetera, et cetera, guys. But with that being said, I love you so much, guys. I just pray that my videos just help you a little bit through the process as far as just getting a break from everything and watching a little bit of entertaining, funny, and getting a little bit of motivational speaking or whatever you want to call it in the video as well. Oh, that's so pretty. Holy moly.
That's pretty, Brownstown. That is pretty. But Brownstown, I love you so much. Thank you for tuning in today, Thursday, March the 26th, guys. I come back to work on the 28th. Saturday, I go back to work unless I'm calling for emergency for tomorrow, guys. But I'm pretty much trying to do one job a day just so I can disinfect all of my equipment and do the things properly like that. And so no cross-contamination or anything like that, So especially during this time. So I'm trying to do one job a day. But I got two jobs set for Monday coming up. So that's that's the max, guys. But other than that, let's get ready for this chocolate milk. I love you, and I'll see you in the next video. But wait. Chocolate milk. Let's see what we got out of the dirt today. Holy moly, that's dirty. Holy moly, Brownstown. And that stinks. Holy moly. Wow. See you in the next vlog. Okay, I know I said see you in the next vlog, but Brownstown, if you watched the entire video and you watched all the way up until this point right here after the chocolate milk, guys, just comment. We want 10,000 subscribers now. If you comment that, if you watch to this point, guys, you're one step closer to winning a giveaway. 5K, 10K, 20K, up to 50K, which is the workhorse, and then 60, 70, 80, 90 to 100K, which is another workhorse. But in between that, it's going to be all kinds of things. So, Brownstown, I love you so much, and now I'll see you in the next vlog. Okay, have a great one. Hit the thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button right now. <laughs>